We're talking today, of course, about Martin Luther King's legacy. And while going through our archives this weekend, I was struck by how much the mainstream media seemed to be at war with Dr. King in certain ways. Between 1960 and 1966, he made several appearances on NBC's Meet the Press, and just about each question that was posed to him was extremely skeptical, <laughs> bordering on hostile. We strung together a few of those moments to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Take a listen. Are you saying uh, that the end justifies the means and you're apparently breaking local laws hoping for a better conclusion? Is it correct to say that you don't oppose racial intermarriage? Dr. King, I have been told that there are places in Rome which refuse to serve white customers. Do you know if that's true? Dr. King, uh, how many white people are members of your church in Atlanta? Now, I'd like to know just where does communism or collectivism uh, fit into your program of resistance here. Have communists infiltrated the movement? The AP reported the other day that a picture of you taken in 1957 at a Tennessee interracial school is being plastered all over Alabama billboards with a caption, Martin Luther King at a communist training school. Will you tell us whether that was a communist training school and what you were doing there? For the record, I was only at a communist training school for a few short weeks back in, <laughs> in 1993. Um, it was a Montessori communist sort of uh, combination situation. Oh, wow. But aren't those shocking? I mean, I think the reason they're shocking to me, maybe they shouldn't be shocking. The reason they were shocking to me was because we have this vision of him as a unifying figure, because we have the kind of Santa Claus, Martin Luther King, I went back in the archives thinking that everyone would sort of pay him the deference that is owed to a man who is carved in granite on the National Mall and would understand that he was obviously on the right side of all these issues. And question after question after question is, aren't you saying people should break the law? They're really obsessed with that, if you go back to the transcripts. Aren't you a communist? And isn't there some black person somewhere doing something bad for that person <laughs> that you should have to defend? And it really, like, it struck me so much that how, how, just how much even I, who knew, knows abstractly and intellectually that he was a polarizing figure in his life, watching that made me realize in reality just what that meant. See, clips 